Yeah, good evening, Bob. Now, because this is an ongoing investigation, Superintendent Dr. Tim Smith didn't really say much, but he did say that finding out exactly what took place is the district's top priority right now. Stay right here. The cops are coming, okay? This video taken by Julie Stewart. Her granddaughter was one of the dozens of kids on board this bus parked on the side of the road. Kansas Fisher, the student's mother, was notified by the school district that the bus was going to be late. I actually had my neighbor call her daughter on the bus and we heard screaming. And then she kept saying that the bus driver won't bring them home. And Fisher, along with several other parents, tracked the bus down to Softly Field Road. Okay. When they arrived, their kids were yelling out of the window, visibly upset. <laughs> kids screaming, their heads off, banging on the windows, wanting out. The bus driver was on the radio. Fisher says the driver told the kids to sit down for their safety, which according to the district's handbook is protocol. When they didn't, she stopped the bus. At no, one point, a parent their parents, urged their kids to open the back emergency exit and get out. And the kids just piled out. I don't know how many came out. I don't know how many was left on the bus. But I do know that two of them got off that did not have a responsible adult there to get them. The video then shows the bus driving away with kids still on the bus, but leaving two children behind without their parents. I can't believe she took off knowing the police are coming. There's one little girl, she couldn't have been no more than about maybe six, seven. And she just looked so lost, like she didn't know what to do. Do you feel that dad should have told the child to open up that door and let all the kids out? I don't think he realized that the police were on their way. So if he maybe would have waited two or three more minutes, but I mean, you're, you're a parent, you're only thinking about your child. All you, you pull up to a bunch of people, kids screaming and crying on a bus. You don't know what's going on inside the bus because the tent on the windows is kind of dark. <laughs> Superintendent Dr. Tim Smith spoke to us over the phone. He says the district is taking this incident very seriously. When we get a situation like this, the safety and security of our kids is, is paramount. This is a, a high priority situation for us. Smith says the district plans on speaking to each party involved to piece together what happened. We take uh, these situations very seriously. Our, our job is to provide the, the safety and security for all of our students. Now, as for if any disciplinary action is going to be taken against the driver, the district again says that this incident is still under investigation and they don't comment on internal matters. Live in the studio, Brent Carney, WEAR News.